In these next problems, we're going to be working with box and whisker plots. A box and whisker plot is a way to represent a set of data. To construct one of these things, you need to find the median of your set of data, and that's this line in the middle of the box. And then you actually divide the data up into four chunks by finding the median of the lower half and the median of the upper half. And those lines that will come here at the, the beginning of the box and the end of the box, this divides the data up into four even chunks, even in the sense that they have the same number of data points in them. These four chunks are called quartiles. So there's the first quartile, the second quartile, the third quartile, and the fourth quartile. And we draw the box in a box and whisker plot from the beginning of the second quartile to the end of the third quartile. And then the whiskers are the first quartile and the fourth quartile. So when you see one of these diagrams, you can immediately know what value the median is. You just look for this line here, and then there'll be a scale or some numbers um, to tell you what that is. You can probably also find numbers for the, you know, the first, second, third, and fourth quartile. Uh, and of course, the lowest value is going to be right here. The highest value is going to be right here. So there's a lot of um, information packed into one of these box and whisker plots. One term you might hear when using box and whisker plots is called the interquartile range, and that's basically the length of the box. So you take whatever value uh, is at the beginning of the second quartile and then count all the way up to the end of the third quartile. The length of that box is your interquartile range. And of course, the range of the whole thing, uh, the whole data set, would just be the difference between the highest and the lowest. But you probably knew that already. Let's look at a couple of problems. So in this first one, it says find the range and interquartile range for the data represented by the box and whisker plot. Well, the range is just going to be the difference of the lowest and the highest. So let's see, what does this look like? Um, 43 for the highest and 30 for the lowest. So that's a difference of 13. So our range here is 13. It looks like so it could be either B or C. Now the interquartile range is the length of this box, and it looks like it starts at 31, and it goes up to 39. That would be a difference of 8. So our interquartile range would be 8, so it's got to be C. Let's look at another. This one says, Mrs. Oliver drew a box and whisker plot to represent her students' scores on a midterm test. So these all the data points represent a student with a score. So you know that one fourth of the students scored in that quartile, another fourth scored in that quartile, another fourth scored in that quartile, and the highest fourth scored in that quartile, and the median was 71. It says Barbara earned 84 on the test. So right up here at the, um, the, the division between the third and fourth quartile. So that's pretty good. Describe how the scores of Barbara's classmates compared to Barbara's score. Well, let's think about that. If Barbara is right here, three out of four quartiles are below that. So that means three-fourths of the students scored lower scores than she did. And above it, there's a fourth of the students who did better than she did. So A says about one-fourth scored higher, three-fourths scored lower. That's what we're looking for here. All right, one more. Now, this type of problem might be tricky just because it, you have to find the statement that's not true. So let's remember that we're looking for the statement that's false here. Uh, which statement is not true about the data shown by the box and whisker plot below? And let's just look at this for a second. So it looks like the mean is just shy of 50. So maybe the mean, or sorry, the median, that's the median here. The median is 49. And it looks like our low point is maybe 18. And our high point is uh, 74. So A says the interquartile range is 25. And let's see, it looks like this is maybe 34 up to 59. Well, that would be 25. So that looks true. I'm just going to put a little T by this. B says the median of the lower half of the data is 18. And you know that's what you do when you construct a box and whisker plate. You find the median, and then you take the median of the lower half and the median of the higher half. Um, so that would be right here. The median of the lower half would be where the quartiles uh, break here between the first and second quartile. B says it's 18. Well, it doesn't look like 18. In fact, it looks like 18 is the lowest um, data point in the whole set. So that couldn't be the case. So it looks like this one's false. Let's just read C and D just to double check. 
C says half the data lies between 34 and 59. So that would be here. Yeah, these are two of the quartiles in the box. So that's half of the data. So that makes sense. And then it says the median of the data is 49. And yeah, looks like that's right at 49. So I think we found our false one. That's B. And that's a little work with box and whisker plots.